How's it going, sports gamers? Mike Strauss, Sports Gamers Online here with some gameplay from the career mode in PJ Tour 2K21. Now, this year, PJ Tour 2K21 sees you start in the qualifying school of the Corn Ferry Tour, working your way up to become FedEx Cup champion while taking on some of the biggest names in the game, including the world number one player, Justin Thomas. Throughout your career, you'll be tasked with taking on these players through different challenges and making rivals as you move on through tournaments in order to again become the FedEx Cup champion. But right now, we're going to take you to TPC Summerlin for the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open and show you some exclusive gameplay from the game's career mode. Before we get to the course though, be sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online and turn on your notifications so you never miss any of our latest PJ Tour 2K21 content. Hello everyone, delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. We're at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam here in Las Vegas. It's known as Thin City, but we're at TPC Summerlin for the golf. What's this course like? It's a firm, fast golf course that yields lots of birdies. Players going into the week know that they need to make birdies often. And if they're not making birdies and they feel like everybody else is around them passing them, when you know that you have to make birdies and you're not, that can actually be more stressful than making birdies at times. So I look at these players as they better be aggressive out there. They better take some chances. The par fives are reachable, but they have to fire at every flag stick they can see. If not, they're letting opportunities pass them by. It also has one of the most exciting finishes on the PGA Tour. So let's see if the players roll the dice. In this town, that's a requirement. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Time for the second shot into the first. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh, that's beautifully judged. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Oh, good look at birdie here. Oh, nice looking putt. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Opting for the nine iron. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Outside chance here for the birdie. Get in the hole. What a putt to make. Well done. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the videotape. He's in a share of seventh place. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway.
Second shot here on the third. Going with the five wood. Well, we're hearing some excitement elsewhere on the course. John, what's going on out there? Down on the fourth hole, guys. This is Justin Thomas's next shot. A chance for the top 10 here if you can make this. Get in. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, that would have been outstanding to make the eagle. And back to the course with the live action. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? 11 feet to the cup. And that will drop in for birdie. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Coming off a string of three birdies. Woo, back there, horsey. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Rich, this player is definitely not on the top of many people's favourites to win. How do you see them faring here today? The PGA Tour is full of underdogs that can flat out play, Luke. This is just another one of those scenarios. This player is someone to watch. Putting for par. It's got a chance. Well done. Luke, I don't know if you know this or not, but nothing rolls like a ball. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. Opting for the five iron. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Make this putt. We'll tie for top spot on the leaderboard. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Yeah, that's some positive momentum now. Right to the top of the leaderboard they go. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers.
Let's have a look at Jim Furyk from earlier. This was his second. Oh, a little trickery, no doubt about it. An absolute beauty here. And playing this one from around 120 yards out. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Well, there's a wild ride. A seven footer right here. I don't mind the look of this. Well hold. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here, and try and make a birdie. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Well, I'm on the eighth. This is Justin Thomas's next shot. Oh, what a great stroke. That one had eyes for it the whole way. And what a way to jump into the top 10. Let's get back to it, shall we? A chance to move to five under par. This one has eyes for the hole. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Currently in first position.